and you click join and it takes you to the page and you you can become a member for so say again Hag is is a, a text and you have to text and you, you write. text kpft space tps to four one four 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 okay yep. and it immediately shoots the link back to you or you know within a minute or so uh, and I want to apologize to everybody. We're having technical difficulties on the Facebook Live, but I think maybe we got it going now. All right. Um, it's the Wi-Fi. Smile, boys. We look good, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> Might end up having to make a hotspot oh, if their Wi-Fi gets any slower. Oh. We have well, kind of a French flag, yeah. white, blue, red, all of them from That's PFT. something else. Maybe I should mention that because our goal for this fund drive is $250,000, and it ends next Friday. We're at one hundred fifty-nine. So if you do the math on that, we got to, you know, we got to make more than ten grand a day uh, to get there, and or, you know, right at ten grand a day. And we have really cut back around here. There's less staff. We're losing yes, more staff as we go, and uh, you know, the there's no money in that for rebuilding or improving things beyond that. So we really need to surpass our goals if we ever want to get KPFT back to full bore. And running the way it, you know, it has in the past. So, uh, a but there's been some programming changes. You'll notice that stuff too. Just like uh, David's working on some other stuff, and we've got a uh, new death row, uh, death row team working on things now. We're making and, a lot of changes. Yeah. and it's really good. You know, there's an old saying about I'd rather be green and growing than ripe and rotten. Yeah. Uh, we get stuck yeah. in a rut. Um, we had we had a lot of people writing into us where. We weren't getting mail for whatever reason, so I put out my address, and now we started getting lots of mail, guys. I don't do a mailbag, so I'm not going to write, you know, list off everybody's name, but you know who you are that wrote me, and I will sit down Sunday, and I'll just pay everybody back. Um, I've been real busy at work, but I want to give out my address, and I'm going to shut up, and we're going to get Kathy on here. But, I need uh, to uh, right quick also, Mr. Mathis, I'm looking into your thing. If you can hear me, great. If you can't, uh, somebody else is listening, tip him off. Uh, I've, I've gone back to the ombudsman again about this situation, and I talked with Ray Hill about it, and he told me how to put it to him, and that's what I did. So, yeah, but my home address is what I give out. So you can write David Collingsworth. You can write anybody at my home address. And Dee Dee's talking about getting a PO box, but for right now, it's just 9902 Bro Mill Station Street, Houston, Texas, 77070. And if you write any one of us there, I'll make sure everybody gets their mail. But uh, write me. Uh, you know, we're making some changes, like Hank said. Uh, the song, um, I've got Charlie Harrison working on the song. He's, he wrote a song called The Prison Radio Show. And then uh, the disclaimer that's on the front, instead of using a snotty-nosed little brat, we're going to change that up a little bit. So uh, y'all stick with us, and we'll make our changes. And Dee Dee's not here to tell me how much money we got, so I'm going to throw out a $50 bill for the first caller that has a $50 bill. Going to match them? So, yeah. If, if we right. get a caller at 713-526-4000 you match the for, 50, for $50, yeah. I got $50. And then so and Didi then... can get on my butt whenever I get home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Well, yeah. That was dinner one night. Yeah. You know. yeah. Well, I can we, sacrifice. I, uh, yeah. I work, too. I, Just because she's got the checkbook don't mean I can't. You know, uh, that's one of the things. You, we don't get paid for this. We're volunteers. And we also volunteer at other things, and we also give of our own pockets. So we got to get back on track here. And uh, Kathy Marston, are you on the line with us? Kathy? I'll try it again here. Kathy, are you there? Kathy, are you there? Well, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm going to put it back on hold, and y'all see if you can. Why don't you go ahead and go to Linda? All Just right. Swap them Let's around. swap them around. Linda, are you there? All right. Hold on just a minute here. Let me mess around with the wire on here. It's worked before. He got the, he's got the phone on. Here we go. Kathy, are you there? Lord have mercy. Are the phones flipped over out there? Yeah, she's been answering the phones. Oh, well, I couldn't see her. I don't know. Uh, mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, we've got two calls on. and In the meantime. Yeah, in the meantime, let, let me try it again. Kathy, are you, can you hear us? I don't hear anything. I Kathy? think it might be a board issue. 
Yeah, it may be this board. Yeah. Folks, this is one of the reasons we need to go over our goals because there is some equipment around here older than we are. Well, Hank, keep pitching, and I'm going to go right. here and check this other. All right. So, anyway, folks, uh, we're going to well, we're going to go ahead and pitch for a minute. KPFT's been on the air since 1970. The Prison Show's been on the air since 1980. That's 37 years of good radio, of all kinds of good radio. We've got the best blues shows. We've got bluegrass shows. We've got Cajun music. We've got Irish music. We've got just about, we, we've got hip hop. We've got Afro beats. We've got world music with Harrison Kumi. We've got every kind of music. Uh, we're rebuilding our news department. There's a lot of things going on here at KPFT that are very positive. I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. What about it? Were you saying something about her? Yeah. Yeah, because you've been sitting here saying she's been in the hole for 10 minutes. Yeah, I know. I got her on yeah. the line here, but we can't uh, we can't yeah. get it here. Uh, I've been I mean, trying. Uh, Kathy, if you can hear me, I've been trying to pick you up several times now, but it's not going through on our board here. So hopefully we can uh, get that straightened out. Bueno, David's out working on it now. Uh, in the middle, I'm going to pitch uh, in Espanol. In Espanol. Uh, sí, sí, porque nos hace falta. Nos hace falta que nos escribáis, que nos llamáis por teléfono para ayudarnos a, a seguir dando oxígeno a esta radio y a este programa. Por favor, escribir este número para que nos ayudáis a recaudar dinero para seguir con este programa. El número de teléfono es 713-526-4000. Os lo repito, 713-526-4000. Nos tenéis que llamar porque sin vuestra ayuda no vamos a poder seguir haciendo este programa. Desde el 1980 seguimos recaudando dinero. All right, let's try it again. Kathy, are you there? Sí, I don't hear. Okay. Uh... Oh, well, we've got a, all right, let's uh, let's match our first $50, and then we've got another $50 coming right behind that, another $50 match. That's great. Uh, so Dave and Jack are stepping up already. Try it again. And let, let me try it again. Kathy, are you with us? Bueno, por favor, intentar llamar por teléfono ahora porque nadie está llamando en este momento. 713-526-4000. Necesitamos vuestra ayuda para que sigan viniendo aquí abogados, eh, activistas, políticos y nos hablen del sistema de las cárceles. Gente que es voluntaria en varias asociaciones que os ayudan con eh, las familias de los presos que están ahí fuera, eh, con eh, los varios problemas médicos que tenéis a vosotros que estáis ahí dentro, eh, muchos eh, voluntarios que ayudan a los presos que salen de la cárcel a encontrar trabajo, como por ejemplo eh, Goodwill. Hay muchísimas, muchísimas asociaciones que vienen aquí a hablar por teléfono para conectaros con vosotros, para conectaros con los que estáis ahí, con los que estáis sufriendo por el eh, problema de tener a una persona dentro de la cárcel y no saber eh, cómo eh, comportar. Ah, oh, now I can hear us again. All right, now let's try this one more time. Uh, Miss Linda, are you there? I am. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Bobby came to rescue us all here. Uh, that was the oh, biggest trap yeah. we've had in a while. Fellas, I'm sorry about that. Uh, here's Miss Linda, Texas. Uh, now I can hear us again. All right, now let's try this one more time. Hello? Yeah, you got to uh, turn your radio down. down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Bobby came to rescue us all. Yeah. Uh, that was the biggest trap we've had in a while. Fellas, I'm sorry yeah. about that. Miss Linda, you got to turn your radio yeah, on. Yeah, oh, okay. I oh. did. Okay, all right. I did because I'd been holding about 19 minutes and y'all kept calling my name and I kept hollering, but you couldn't hear me all the no. way in Houston. Yeah, it, well, you, you're going to have to get back closer then. Yeah, I'd like to. But I wanted to talk to all of our inmate friends that are writing about medical problems. I need help and... I need some volunteers, and um, I wanted to remind them again, it takes more than writing a letter. And your situation may already be on the list in Huntsville, but I want to remind you that when you write me a letter, instead of me writing back to you immediately, I call TDCJ Medical. And... Um, I nearly fainted today. I called one in yesterday, and I got an investigator on the phone today. But she did remind me that she has 35 days in which to answer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't want to call any names about your medical problems, but you'll know who you are. You wrote about uh, losing 19 pounds or 18 pounds in uh, less than two weeks. And when she told me 35 days, I told her, well, if you take 35 days, she will have lost 40 pounds. More. Yeah. And uh, that that won't work. We need some immediate attention to this problem. She said she would try her best. And I said, well, just pretend it's one of your family members, and I bet you it will be quicker. Yeah. And I uh, want to remind you also that you have to keep that PHI form filled out every six months. And uh, we have to have a release of information because if anything would happen and we need information on you, we couldn't get it. So every six months, take it on yourself to go to medical and sign that release form. And... Uh, I try to get the investigators as soon as I possibly can. And after that 35 days, they can write for an extension and who's to deny them the extension. And uh, so we we write to them, we call them, and uh, then hopefully we get prompt responses, but more than often we don't. And uh, when we call those complaints in, we're at their mercy. And uh, I wanted to remind you about that and to tell you that I am getting some answers on dental. I uh, got the first ones yesterday uh, telling me that you have been denied, and that's where that information from a court case that uh, was in favor of the inmate on the dental Mm -hmm. uh, was recognized, and you can use that to uh, file your 1960 or whatever you want to do about it. But I have had one that has finished his uh, step two, and uh, that's the time to decide what you want to do. And uh, I am working on your problems, and like I said, I do need help. But I am getting the word to TDCJ and then following up from there. And you will hear from me when you tell me that you have gotten your step two grievance. But please go ahead and fill out all the forms. Fill out your uh, grievances and then file your step one and your step two. And then you will be ready. And do keep every transmission you get from them. Anytime you get something from medical, save it. Don't let it get away from you because you'll need that as proof. And uh, we do have other problems other than dental. We are working on them. All of you guys that, and women that have hernias, 
uh, that is high on the priority list because we have more of those in people with diabetes, and uh, those are the major problems that uh, we look at every day. But we have some eye problems, and uh, we are working on that and trying to get to why they aren't seeing y'all and why they aren't transferring you to the unit that does the eye exam. And we're aware of your problems, and we want to do something about it, and I will be talking to Director Collins about these problems. And I will give him a list of each and every name and what your complaint is. I will group them together so he has no doubt about what is going on in medical. Mm -hmm. And if we aren't going to do dental, why do we need a dentist? And they get paid big bucks, and uh, they need to do their work. And extraction is the easiest thing they do. Oh, yeah, that's about the only thing they do. Um, The last word I had on that, they had done like three fillings, and they had done over 300 extractions. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, that's just malpractice there. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And Harris County is not any better than that. No. And uh, I don't know when TDCJ will join the bandwagon, but at Harris County I get letters from there. And uh, HISD fired Airmark, Mm -hmm. and uh, so Harris County Sheriff's Department hired them, and they're now in charge of the meals, and parents were complaining that the uh, grade school children weren't getting enough to eat, and now they have gone to the Harris County Jail, and they aren't getting anything to eat. They're in charge of commissary, and the commissary uh, price list came out, a new one, and uh, the prices have gone up, and they are now in charge of the janitorial services. So the sheriff's department, uh, I don't know. They must have seen something in this company that nobody else sees. HISD certainly didn't see anything good about them, and they fired them. So use your imagination. Well, you don't want me doing that. (laughs) Yeah, really. But I'm doing the best that I can, and I think that I have called everything in that I have, including what I got yesterday. Now, I got one today that I have not talked to them about because I didn't get to the mailbox in time to get the letters today. But if you can imagine how many people there are in southeastern um, Texas in the prison system, and how many of them have medical and dental problems, and then I am the only person answering right. their letters. Um, so, I understand there may be a few people that are corresponding with them and helping with that, and I appreciate it very much. Well, Linda, we've got to get. I want to thank you for this. Can Tell them how they can get a hold of you. They can get a hold of me at 1508. North Broadway, Poto, and that's spelled P-O-T-E-A-U, Oklahoma, 74953. That's 1508 North Broadway, Poto, P-O-T-E-A-U, Oklahoma, 74953. And if you need family members to call me, my phone number is 281 six nine zero eight zero five five and I would be glad to talk to any of your family members at any time. People short if we're gonna have another thank you and y'all have a good night. All right, thank you. Uh Uh-huh. Bye. Bye. And Kathy Marston, I've got you on the line now. Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I could hear you before. Yes, but I couldn't hear you. (laughs) Yes, I know. (laughs) And okay, so we've got you on the air now? And I guess I better let you get after it. We, we're going to need to cut you a little bit short, but you know we're trying to recapture some of that. Gotcha, time. gotcha. I'm I'm really glad to um, be here tonight, and uh, um, this is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and I I have all kinds of updates. I'll try to keep them brief and yet uh, tell you about what's going on. Um, Cameron uh, Cartoad, she uh, paroled out on October second. 
so she's home now. And um, she, uh, so for those of you who don't know me, I um, uh, uh, educate about wrongful incarceration of battered women in our system. And Cameron is unusual compared to a lot of our members because she's been incarcerated since she was 15 years old. She was battered as a child uh, by her dad and mm. uh, killed her brother. And uh, now that she's home, she has a lot to learn and a lot to to do for parole, but um, she wants to start a nonprofit um, to teach nonviolent communication to abuse kids so they make different choices than she made. And uh, uh, I, I know she can do it. She's very smart. She designed our postcards for Free Better Texas Women, and um, I, I'm really glad to have her home. Uh, Sherry Nance's 70th birthday is October 27th, and um, again, Sherry's one of those uh, 156 women who were recommended for clemency in the 1990s by the Texas Council on Family Violence. Um, I uh, heard from her oldest daughter, Cheryl, earlier today who told me that Sherry still has not, uh, they still have not sent her over uh, to get her ultrasound um, at Texas City yet. Um, uh, uh, as for events that I've been up to this month, uh, last week uh, on October 11th, I was invited to take part in what was called a Chat for Change, Incarceration and Gendered Violence. It was co-sponsored by the Rape Crisis Center here in San Antonio and the PEACE Initiative. Uh, PEACE stands for Putting an End to Abuse Through Community Effort, which is the only way we're ever going to get anything done. So uh, I, I, it was really an honor. Uh, Patricia Castillo of PEACE Initiative was on the panel. Um, Ethel Magana Lopez of the Rape Crisis Center, myself, um, Anthony Elias of the Domestic Violence Unit of the San Antonio Police Department, and Michael De Leon of the Bear County District Attorney's Office. So we had all sides um, of the system uh, coming together to have this community conversation about the issues of a wrongful arrest of battered women, uh, uh, rape culture, battering culture, and these kinds of things. So um, earlier this week on Tuesday, I tabled at my um, undergraduate university here in town, Trinity University, uh, uh, with uh, Megan Cruz, who's a member of their Coalition for Respect. So it was a great opportunity to provide educational materials about battering awareness for the students there. And um, I, I was very glad to be able to do that um, because there was not a resource like that when I was a student there um, in the 80s. So those are sort of the big things that have been going on this month um, in terms of that. And uh, I, uh, I had told David a little about this earlier. I, I spoke uh, yesterday with Megan, uh, Mandy Goheen, who's the uh, coordinator of the Church of the Larger Fellowship of the Unitarian Universalist Association. They are going to be doing an online class on the prison industrial complex. It's called Prison Industrial Complex 101. And um, uh, anyone who's interested in that, it starts uh, the first Tuesday, I think, in November, and it skips the week that Thanksgiving's in. Uh, you can get more information about that at worthynow.org. Um, so that's some of the things that I, I've been up to. And um, uh, I uh, have more things that I'm, that I'm working on. I just uh, want to remind everybody that uh, this is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and there are probably activities in whatever community you're in. And then taking care of what's going on in your own head. Um, and uh, 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 learning to what your thought patterns and emotional patterns are uh, is very helpful. Um, if anybody wants to write me, um, I'm, uh, I'm at, uh, you can write Free Better Texas Women. So my name is spelled C-A-T-H-Y, Kathy Marston, M-A-R-S-T-O-N. And you can write Free Better Texas Women, or you can just put F-B-T-W, and it's P.O. Box 47. That's in Shirts, S-C-H-E-R-T-Z, Texas, 78154. That's P.O. Box 47, Shirts, Texas. Shirts, S-C-H-E-R-T-Z, Texas, 78154. How's that? That is excellent. <laughs> Short, sweet, and to the point. Yes, I'm, I'm, I uh, hope that you all have good luck with your, your pledge drive public radio is Public media is so important, y'all, especially um, in the current political climate. Mm -hmm. But And this show is especially near and dear to all of our hearts, I think. So I, I hope people will be able to pledge up. And I want to thank all of you um, who are involved with this, Hank and, and Danielle and uh, 
um, David, for um, what you do. Thank you so much. It's always an honor to be on the show. Well, thank you so much. We'll have you back again soon. Bye-bye. I hope you to uh, see you sometime. Come here, Kathy. I, yeah. uh, believe me, I want to come to Houston, too. I miss I miss being over there. So. All right. Okay. Tienen ustedes un buen noche. Buena noche. Buena noche. Uh, all right. Uh, adios. Adios. Okay, now we've got Danny Sneed with us. Uh, Danny, we're going to have to cut you a little short, too. Okay, I'm going to try to make this fast. Okay, so let me get right into it. I'm Danny Sneed. I'm a U.S. Army veteran uh, who joined the Army in 1982. I want to give out a shout-out to my brothers on, on Beto Warren, Gurney Unit, Stevenson, Joe Ney, Kyle, Burning Hill, which is Clemens, and the McConnell Unit. The reason why I specifically shouted out all those units is because I'm a formerly incarcerated veteran myself, and I spent 15 years in TDC on three different units. But what I'm here today is, a, is to talk to my veterans that's locked up and to give you guys some information about what can you do while you're there and uh, what benefits can you take advantage of while you're incarcerated. Now think about this. If you were, were receiving VA disability or some type of pension when you got locked up, of course, on your 61st day of your conviction of a felony or a misdemeanor, your pension ceased, it stopped, and you were no longer going to get it. But did you know that your spouse, your children, or even your dependent parents can receive your benefits while you're locked up? All you have to do is contact your nearest VA regional office in your county and ask for details how to apply. Also, once you get out, you want to know how do I resume my benefits after I get uh, when I get back and get out of prison? The the your pension will resume on the date of your release if you notify the Department of Veteran Affairs uh, uh, and they receive some type of notice that you're going to get out within a year of your release. Uh, um, you're also once you get out on parole or you're in a halfway house, you're still eligible to receive your pension, but. One of the things you're going to have to do when you first get out and you get back to Harris County, you're going to have to go to your local VA, reinstate yourself back in the system. You have to be up under the health care system to, to receive uh, uh, benefits or pension from the, uh, uh, from the VA. Also, for my brothers that are, have uh, went to jail or prison and uh, you have a dishonorable discharge, did you know that you can request to have your discharge upgraded? All you need to do is contact your local VA in your area and ask to uh, uh, request to submit a form or have them send you a form to request that your your uh, uh, status be upgraded. doesn't matter whether you're in the Navy, the Air Force, uh, the Army, the Marines. If you got a dishonorable discharge, don't give up. It's a possibility. There's still hope that you can get that upgraded and you can receive full benefits. Uh, every year, TDC releases 15,000 people back here to Harris County. I want my veterans to know that if you make it to Harris County, there is plenty of opportunities here for people that are formerly incarcerated. The city of Houston has a reentry network program. They have uh, uh, Goodwill has an incarcerated vets, veterans transition program. Um, U.S. Vets has a, a program. If you don't have housing, they have a housing first program called the Harris County Housing Authority called the HUD VAST program. I just want you to know if you there and you know you're coming home and you're a veteran and you're worried about where you're going to stay, trust me, if you make it to Harris County, go to your local VA. There is help. We still see you as our heroes, incarcerated or not incarcerated. When you get out this country, this state is going to be there for you. Until then, guys, I want to leave you with this. I, a positivity pledge. One minute. I said, no, I, while you're there, do not allow negative thoughts and feelings to drain you of your energy. Instead, focus on all the good things in your life. Think it, feel it, speak it. By doing so, it will send out positive vibes and positive energy into the world. And be grateful for all the things in it, and it will attract it into your life. God bless you until I see you again. This is Danny Sneed, U.S. Army veteran, formerly incarcerated. Go Astros.
Oh, go! What, what's the score right now? Somebody check real quick here, so we can let everybody know. But they were winning three to nothing when we were out in a meeting. So, uh, Lord willing, it's still that way or better. Okay, uh, we're gonna move right along here. We've got to have. Uh, well, uh, yeah, Danny's moving out, and uh, Michael Allen's moving in. Thank you, Danny, for a great, great, quick summarizing everything, getting it done. All right. So All right. See you guys in six weeks. All right. We'll see you then. And Michael Allen, welcome to the prison show, baby. Hey. What hey, you been hey, doing? Hey, 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 Hank. How you doing? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, hanging out, looking cool. You know me. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you're looking cool, man. This beer's filling out right now. I know. Huh? It's coming out now. I was, I was, I think about every now and then trimming it a little bit, but then I think, no, don't do it. Nah. Don't mess with I'll it. I'll grow it down to my belly button. But, uh, uh, you guys, to the listeners out there, you know what time it is. It's a time when we, uh, when we uh, have to come out of our pocket, pocket to support this fine uh, establishment where we're sitting right now. They do great work in the community, and uh, this is a good cause. You know, I know there are a lot of people who care about what's going on, and the closest, well, they don't come very close to getting out in the streets, and I would encourage you, you can make it all right and that much more if you just reach in your pocket and send a little bit of money off to these people because they do fantastic work. Thank you. Uh, you guys inside there, good, good, to, good to see you, good to hear you, good to talk to you again. Uh, they're kind of rushing me for time. They're a little behind. Technical difficulties, they said it was. Well, that and fun drive. And fun drive, that's right. Hey, uh, real quick, 713-526-5738. The only way you're ever going to hear this, uh, oh, 526-4000, excuse me. Uh, I'm so used to pitching the regular number. But we use 713-526-4000. Somebody take uh, Hank's bottle away from him, please. It, it's coffee. <laughs> it's coffee, you can yeah. It's not even Iris. You can uh, yeah, taste it. Yeah. That's my story. That's yeah, my okay. story, and I'm sticking to that. You know, I always come, and I always talk to you guys. You know, I always end up talking to you about, you know, reasons that you should get involved, and we need you to get involved. And, you know, one of the hats I wear, in fact, the hat I got on right now says all of us are none on it. Mm -hmm. Now, all of us are none was, was started in, um, in uh, November 2002 by uh, Dorsey Nunn. Uh, I met Dorsey in uh, Oakland last year. He's an amazing man and a formerly incarcerated individual from California. And he came up with this idea of how, how activists and prisoners and formerly incarcerated people could unite to build political power. And he said the idea of uniting other former prisoners and people inside prison to build political power, that's where you guys come in. And, and he saw it as a way to build new, a new civil rights movement to eliminate many of the forms of discrimination faced by people with felony convictions. You know, and he, he's calling for people to create chapters inside prisons. You know, um, and he knows, and I know, and I'm telling you, we won't win the struggle against, against a criminal, an unfair criminal justice system unless we work together and continue the commitment to fight the powers that discriminate and abuse us daily. You know, he's putting out the call. He put out the call 15 years ago. And, you know, and since then, this organization's done some amazing things. You know, some of, one of the things they did. Uh, a couple of years ago, they took on the uh, uh, state of California over a uh, 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 solitary confinement law in a solitary confinement lawsuit, and they beat them. Uh, and in in the in the short time since they won, which they won uh, not quite two years ago, they've moved 2,300 people from uh, segregated housing units in California, 2,300 out of 2,900. There's only 600 left. They did that in California. This organization, all of us are none. And I want to, I want to give you the, uh, I want to give you the address and I'll give it to you again. I, I'd like you to guys to reach out to them and ask them how you can help. Tell them who you are, where you are, and ask them how you can help. Now here it is. Legal services for prisoners with children. Okay, and you can put all of us or none there too. It's the same organization. One five four zero Market Street. That's suite four nine zero. Four nine zero San Francisco SF California CA 
94102. And I'll give it to you after I finish here. But I also want to tell you some of the other stuff these, these people are doing. They are doing amazing work. And we need to all get involved if we're going to change this monster that's trying to crush us all. Okay? They, um, uh, they wrote, just listen to this, the relationship between punishment, white supremacy, poverty, and profit is perhaps the single most defining nature of the tough-on-crime era and the resulting crisis of mass incarceration, exorbitant fines and fees, unfair punishment for non-payment of court debt, and the continued existence of a for-profit bail industry all ensure that justice is funded by those who can least afford it. That's us. As courts and local governments have increasingly come to play, rely on income from tickets, 60% uh, of all court filings, they're talking about California, are now based on traffic or, or infraction citations. Two-thirds of the people incarcerated in California jails are there because they can't afford bail. I mean, they are feeding off of us. Um, it's, you know, this is a great organization. Some of the other things they're doing, they're fighting this stuff. They're at the legislative level. They are fighting it. They know what to do. Contact them. Talk to them. See what you can do to help. We need your help out here. Some of the other stuff you might have heard about, they have the Ban the Box oh, campaign. And that's to eliminate the, the box from, you know, you know, the one that says, have you ever been convicted of a felony to, to ban it from employment, from housing, from public benefits, from insurance, loans and other services. They also uh, they also uh, are, are uh, opposing gang uh, uh, injunctions and support for lifers, for lifer families and for those in solitary. 30 seconds. This is a good organization. And they're telling me I don't have much time, so I'm going to give you this address one more time. Legal Services for Prisoners with Children. Okay. 1540 Market Street Suite S-U-I-T-E 490 San Francisco, SF, California, CA, 94102. Uh, man, I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry I, I didn't get a chance to talk to you more because uh, this is my thing. Hey. You guys need to get out there and help us fight this because we are all slaves in this system. They got us all, so we've got to stand up together. All of us are none, you guys. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you next month. All right, now I need to see if we can rush our death row team. That's the one thing you can hang on to, and the one person that will never, ever give up on you. So, um, and just remember one thing, there's always, uh, well, I'm sorry. The one thing that is, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say goodbye because I'm going to screw it up. So good night for now. I'll hopefully talk to you next week. Take care, guys, and well, thanks, you guys. Linda, you're going to have to move out of the sticks and move down here to the country right, and get involved with this show. That's what's going to have to happen have here. To. <laughs> All right. You take care. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We want to thank Quincy McNeil, who put us over the halfway mark by a little bit. And, uh, uh, Quincy, we sure do appreciate that. And, you know, 713-526-4000 is the number to call. You can go to kpft.org online and click donate, and it will take you right to a safe form. You fill it out yourself. Uh, you know, it's not some Yahoo somewhere in some call center taking it. That's right. You know? So you go to KPFT on your phone. You text KPFT to 41444. There it is. All right. So back to the calls now. Let me see who's been waiting the longest here. I believe. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Irving from Hot Springs calling for the Polensky unit. Yeah, this is Irving from Hot Springs. Uh, shout out to Troy Clark at the Polensky unit. Uh, thank you, KFPT, and we hope to see you on the fourth. Which we will see you on the fourth, Troy. Uh, Mom and I is looking forward to it. Uh, I guess that's about it. Well, Irving is KPFT. And we thank you for calling. We sure do. You bet. Thank you, sir. All right, y'all have a good night up there. All right, you too. 
Okay, we're going to Nancy. Miss Nancy, how you doing? Oh, I'm doing good, uh, and I know you're like a million dollars. You know it. You know it. Well, uh, thank you so much. Uh, hello, Daniel. This is Mama, and I love you with all my heart. And today I finally did get the pictures in the mail to you with the long letter included in the same 6 by 9 envelope. I've enjoyed the letters that I've been getting from you, like I always enjoy them each and every one. And uh, I'm now for sure that the little hummingbirds have caught a ride on the back of larger birds to spend the winter in a warmer climate and we'll be back next spring. Of course, I don't know which ones will be back. I, I'd like to see the ones that I did have. But anyhow, uh, I'm so... Uh, I'm just, I'm so thankful that uh, we've got... Danny would like to do her shout-out soon. All the blessings that God has given us. And uh, just keep me in your prayers, Daniel, and I'm keeping you in mind. And uh, I I guess I'll just say goodnight for now. And I'll be talking to Dorcas in the next couple of three days. (laughs) And finding out from her what she may know yet about possibly when she could uh, bring me to see you, and then then maybe I can come another time with Sherry. I mean, I know I can come another time with Sherry, but I'll come both times. I just, you know, the, the more I can come see you, the better. And uh, I I love you, and good night for now. And thank you all, everybody, on KPFT. And you have a good good weekend and a good blessed night. Yes, ma'am. You too, Miss Nancy. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we've got uh, Christine from Germany calling for the Polensky unit. Hello. How are you? Like a million dollars every day. Oh, my God. That sounds good. It, it's just that way. <laughs> bueno, hermano. Hola, que pasa? Surprise. Are you listening? Oh, my God, I really hope so. Pues, sabes, yo no sé si soy capaz de hacer esto otra vez, eh? Well, you know, I've read about the special ways, and I thought, well, do you know what I thought, no? This little word I use it generously. But, mira, parece que se está cumpliendo hoy. No problem, hermano. Here, talking on the radio, past five in the night, that's just an everyday thing. Nothing special, you know. Pues como ves, estamos de vuelta a Madrid. Todo muy bien, los niños tranquilitos, como siempre. Me he pasado bomba y ya sabes. Y sabes qué? Ah, me gusta que ya conoces a casi todos. It was so nice to come home. Your letters waiting there. It felt like they were coming back. That's just so awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my God, and I love, love, love that picture. I had so much fun watching it. Well, I still have. <laughs> I still have. You can't believe how much. So I have a lot to answer. Y luego te contesto tranquilamente, ¿vale? Es que, mira, ahora no tengo mucha cabeza y me tiene muy, muy contradita y nerviosa de no decir palaprotas y cosas así, un poco mal educadas, ya sabes, ¿no? <laughs> bueno, David and the kids there sleeping, so I can't really show here on the phone, but he's standing on a parasote. Y te veo lunes. I'm so looking forward to that one. Fifteen stamps. Are you really saying that? Fifteen stamps that I have to cook? My God, I will be busy all day cooking. Que semana más divertida vamos a pasar, hermano. Bueno, ya está. Cuídate mucho, ¿vale? Muah. And I know that you are going to hug me so much now, won't you? Have a good night. Bye. Muah. Well, and to you guys, thank you for letting me talk here, and have a good night, too. All right. Have a great weekend. <laughs> good night. Too. Thank you. Bye. Brianne from Toronto, calling for the Polensky unit. Hey, Hank. I'm actually calling for my channel, so you can use all of your français fantastique right now. But um, I'm calling for Romero Gonzalez for the Polensky unit. Um, and now you can probably tell I've got another toddler cold because Simon decided to cough directly down my throat, and toddler germs are the worst. So I'm in uh, Montreal visiting my friend Abby, who's 
mom is in palliative care right now, so just here visiting and um, really eager to get your letter responding to the very, very exciting news that I sent you a couple weeks ago. I'm dying to hear um, how you feel about that. And uh, I, But Denise told me that you are running low on steps, so not to be too worried if I don't hear from you for a bit. Um, everyone's good at my place. Uh, Jason and uh, I were leading worship in a couple places this week, and that was really good. But uh, I hope you've had a good week, and um, I'm going to get the calendar to you really soon, and Denise and I are going to be talking soon as well. So all is well on the western front or the northern front, I guess, and I will talk to you really soon. Okay, bye. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. The number is 713-526-4000. We need you to call and make a pledge. we got a few hundred bucks to go. Uh, you can also text KPFT space TPS to 41444. That way it gets credited to the prison show, and they'll send you a quick link. You fill out the easy little online form and, and we off have you less go. than 18 minutes left so we need so we really pledges. need you to do this yeah seven one three five two six four thousand uh there's a nice young lady out there waiting to take your pledge okay and uh we've got danny ready to do her shout out yes i am ready i got a special shout out so farron or aka tree i got a shout out for you from your lovely wife who turns 50 tomorrow she says hi husband hope all is good with you now that the lockdown has ended i am okay reach the weekend nearly i am on late shift so a few hours to go yet you will be in my thoughts even more this weekend wish i could be with you tomorrow but our time together in two weeks will be worth waiting for i love you 50 times over i wonder if that meant 50 times because she's going to be 50 tomorrow been putting stuff on our Facebook and I wanted to give a little bit information on the his ministry wanted to give some some of that during our segment but we ran out of time I made a promise to Nicole she runs his it's a ministry just uh, kind of like soul sisters but it's geared more towards death row inmates and they run a pen pal uh, website on Facebook and not only do they do pen, pal, uh, pen pals for death row inmates, they also publish a quarterly newsletter. They they offer many things, but wanted to give that address. So if you grab your pens, guys, wanted to give that out. It is P.O. Box 409, Gerar Gerar I don't know, J-A-R-R-E-L-L, Texas, 76537. Obviously, I'm not... Jarrell, Texas. Jarrell. Jarrell. Thank you, Mike. And again, that is P.O. Box 409, Jarrell, Texas, 76537. They welcome any uh, request for pen pals. This is for death row inmates. And uh, they have a great little ministry there going. So if, if you want to need a pen pal, give them a shout. They'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks, guys. Okay, back to the calls. Was we are really running short, folks. If you can keep it shorter than two minutes, please do. That we need it tonight. Seven one three five two six four thousand. Tracy from Delaware calling for the Darrington unit. Hi guys. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Like a million bucks every day. That's great. Um, I have a special shout out to the love of my life um, in Darrington. Robert, a.k.a. Delaware, um, baby, I love you so much. I got your cards today. Um, tomorrow is our anniversary, so I'm going to say happy anniversary, and I miss you more than you could ever imagine. Um, I'm going to keep this short because then I'm going to go on to the website and make my donation. Um, so I hope you have sweet dreams. Good night, and I love you. Mwah. Thanks, guys. Thank, thank you so much for that donation, too. You got it. Diana from Houston calling for the Polinsky unit. Thank you. Thank you. Um, send a shout-out to my son, Johnny, at the Polinsky unit. 
Hi, Miho. I hope you're listening tonight. I know you tried to call and missed your call both times. I couldn't find my phone. Um, but um, I'm in Lake Jackson, <clears throat> Lake Jackson at a NA conference. Um, so I just wanted, I just kind of wanted to get away and get around um, people in recovery and just spend some time out here. And I've never been here before, so it's different. So I just wanted to, I, I called in probably about 60 times to get in. I finally got in. Yay. And so I wanted to tell you that I love you. I love you very much. I'll be headed home uh, on Sunday, and I'm going to come see you Sunday. I'll leave here about 1030. So I should be there about 1 o'clock. Uh, so just know that I love you very much. God bless you, Miho. I love you. I love you. I love you. Try to call me tomorrow. I'll be looking out for my phone, okay? Um, all right. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a good night. You have a safe ride home. I love you, Miho. God bless you. I got your letters, and I J paid you. I hope you get it tonight. I hope you got it tonight. All right. Thanks. Bye, Thank everybody. You. Thank you. We hope we'll see you soon. Okay. I hope so. Okay. Bye. All right. Good night. Okay, Judy from Florida calling for the Polensky unit. How you doing, Judy? I'm doing great now that I didn't get disconnected. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing you. But it was me that was on the phone. I, but anyway. That figures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay. okay. I knew to call back. Yeah, thank you. That's okay, Judy. I'll just take his hat off. Yeah. <laughs> you go. Yeah. I'm, I'm calling to shout out to Rodney Reed. Hey, Rodney. Miss you. Hope you're doing okay. You've been in my thoughts all week, but then again, that is nothing new. All is well here. Mail in pictures on Monday, and we'll send a JPay. Let you know how many so that you know what to expect. I've spoken to Aaron a couple of days ago. The clinic in Dallas went great. Um, he's in Austin this weekend for another all-day clinic. Spoke to your mom. She is on board with everything that we discussed last week. I know TM is keeping you posted on everything that's being done. Aaron is good to go also with everything discussed. I've gone through some serious withdrawals this week. Last week was such a special, unexpected treat. It's funny how fast you can get accustomed to things. No plans this weekend, well, other than the usual grocery shopping, cooking, and stuff. Um, I'm planning to do what we discussed tomorrow night, same time, same place. Hope you were able to get all your things from property quickly once you returned. Um, JPays weren't available to send until Tuesday of this week, so hopefully you've gotten them every day because um, I've sent one every day since Tuesday. Anywho, I won't going to let you go. I love you, Rodney. Stay strong. Keep the faith. Continue to hope and dream. Our dreams are alive and well. Thinking of you and praying for you. 560 and 626. Sending you lots of hugs and good night kisses. Sweet dreams. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thanks, guys. You have a great weekend. You too. Have a good night. Good night. Folks, we are still a couple hundred bucks off the goal. We need it. 713-526-4000. We've got uh, two callers left, and we'll come back and pitch again. Uh, Captain oh, Tom? All right. KPFT. Text KPFT to 41444 on your phone, people. And that'll Let's hook get, you up to make a pledge. That's right. Get to stepping. Get, yeah, he's right. Get to stepping. We're really running out of time here. Tiara from Beaumont calling for the Polensky unit. Yes, hello. How are you doing? I like a million dollars every day. Yes, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> All right, hello, Blaine Milam. This shout-out is for you. Hey, big guy. How you doing? Um, first, let me say I won the music game last week. You won in 90s and 2000s. I won. So that means next visit we'll be doing 60s and 70s music. Okay, so let's see what you got. 60s and 70s. Um, Jerry, Mom, Momo are all doing fine. They say hello and they're praying for you. Your mom loves you. Um, I'm glad you had a good visit with Miss Linda this week, and thanks so much, for Miss Linda, for visiting him. Um, Blaine, I'm not sure when I'll be able to visit, but it will be um, in November. Okay. Um, and also, uh, to Shooter, your girl misses you and loves you, and she wanted me to tell you that, too. So anyway, big guy, I hope you're doing well, and um, just keep your head up, and we're thinking about you. We all love you. Talk to you later. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. You too. Folks, we are down to about oh, less than eight minutes. About, we really have about six minutes of airtime left because then we go to carts. 713-526-4000. Go to kpft.org. Click Donate. 
Text KPFT space TPS to 41444. And make that pledge. We need it. We need it. We're not at our goal yet tonight. And we are one show that really cannot afford to go below our goals. All right. Veronica from Seguin calling for the win unit. Yes, I want to send a shout out to my husband, Juan Medina, at the win unit. I want to tell him I love you. And when I got your letter. Thank you. I know you're on lockdown. I wait for your call. And Mijo got his toothpicks. Gabby was excited to call you, but um, she fell asleep. And I just want to tell you I love you and have a good one. Bye. All right. Thank you. Have a great weekend. You too. Okay. Good night. And I want all you veterans out there, especially the veterans that are right now, that you know your your buddies are incarcerated. They want to hear this show just like, you know, you want to have the show. So I want all you veterans out there that are listening right now, 713-526-4000. You know, we would like to have your pledge. So we, we don't want to be below our goal. So please help us out. We got less than and then eight, like less than five minutes left. So we want to make the, we want to make those pledges out there. KPFT.org and KPFT to four one four four four. You text on your phone, and Hank, you know, well get them. All right. So folks, here's the deal. This is KPFT. We're community radio, 90.1 FM. We came on the air in 1970. The Ku Klux Klan blew us off the air. We got back on with the help of the community of the greater Houston area and southeast Texas and our friends in a few other places and the other four Pacifica stations. We're the littlest one, but we're the mighty one, the mighty 90 we've been called for years. Without your pledge of support, we don't stay on the air. That's how we've done it 47 and a half years. Two bombings at the outset, and we made it through. The Klan at that time had an office on Red Bluff Road in Pasadena, an office. But we're still here. Now, we've, uh, all right, granted, we've been shot at. We, uh, people that are affiliated with us have been shot at. Uh, on, on, way back there, a guy had a uh, what turned out to be a dud, thank God, hand grenade thrown through his living room window because he was being an attorney for us. And... Since then, we've had to board up the front window here because where the control room is, they shot through the dead gum window. People don't want this going out over the airwaves. And there are people that call up and prank call us to death just to occupy our phones and waste our time and stuff during these pledge drives. All we're asking is enough money to stay on the air. And Those you, the <laughs> listeners, have to help us do that. I might make a comment. The people that do that are jealous. That, well, yeah. Yeah, they're jealous and afraid. Uh, yes, uh, they are very yeah. afraid. So the truth is, if you don't call 713-526-4000 and make a pledge, or at least pledge to some other show on here, like we've got Cultural Baggage coming up next. That's a good one to pledge to, too. That's the real dope on what's going on with the drug war in the U.S. And that's what's really got these prisons filled up over the last couple of decades. Online pledges as well. Well, and we also have kpft.org. You can make an online pledge, and uh, one of our callers was talking about doing that tonight. We're happy to get it, and right now we need it. So 713-526-4000 is the number to call. We need to get a couple more pledges in here. You know, uh, if we could get probably two, two or three more $100 pledges, we'd be over the top tonight. If you can afford it, please do it. But if it's only $5 you can afford, that's how much we need from you. Thank you so much for the callers that we have had. Mike, tell me what you... And text pledges as well. Remind them again. Yes. Okay. So you can also text KPFT right. space TPS for the prison show. KPFT space TPS to 41444. And that's an easy way to give to. The the KPFT.org, our website, that's an easy place to give. Plus our Facebook page. We got. We've got the... KPFT t-shirts for $45. Well, we have t-shirts. We've got a few books. Uh, if you yes. need a gift, just ask about it. The, you know, We can answer that. We can get it to you. And uh, f to the young lady that wanted to get my hat, a $100 pledge will do that. I know that sounds steep for a cap, but this cap costs 45 bucks at the concert. And it's a great jam band. Uh, I, I see them every chance I can. And 
I just got this crisp new thing from them <laughs> two weeks ago. He got and I've been brim. wearing it about every other day because I don't want to wear it every day. And I just recently lost one good cap, so I'm a little cap poor right now. You got the orange brim on there. So man. it's gonna be a hundred it's gonna be a hundred bucks for this baby, but you can get it. But you I part keep, with it for that. I I'll part with it for that. Yes I will, because I love this show more than I love this cap. And that's the truth of it. This is look, mysterious Mike. Uh, Linda, Linda, uh, Danny, all, all our, all of our volunteers up here, Jack, Captain, Tom, me, David, uh, Dee Dee, Miss Dee Dee, we hope you're feeling better too. And Miss Linda, we hope you're feeling better too. Uh, it's, it's all up to you listeners, but we do it as a labor of love and we hope you love it too. Thank you everybody that pledged fellas. Good night. Good. That time of year again for the 28th annual Blues for Food celebration. Sunday, November 12th at the Shakespeare Pub.